my name is Julie Chase Moorfield. I'm the president and CEO of the Second Harvest Food Bank. Uh, we are having a large distribution at Black River Landing today um, in response um, to the closure of a number of food pantries and the significant increase in need for food assistance within Lorraine County. Uh, we work with the Lorraine Port Authority today to get them to allow us to be out here so that we can do this distribution. Um, we had initially planned to serve about 700 families today, um, but there's a truck currently on road loading with another 250 boxes, so we may be closer to 950 by the time we get done today. It's, it's extraordinary to have the resources to be able to do this. Um, we are incredibly grateful to the National Guard um, and the governor for allowing us to have the National Guard here to be able to help us with this distribution. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do it. Um, and we wouldn't be able to serve the families. Um, it is unfortunate that we have so many families who are in need. Um, we're seeing almost double the numbers. Um, so a lot of the cars that are coming through here today have never been to a food pantry before, have never needed resources before. Um, so we feel humbled and grateful that we're able to continue to serve in the way that we have been serving for the, you know, the last almost 40 years as a food bank. We, um, so the guard has been helping us um, in our facility packing shelf stable food boxes. Um, so normally we prefer to allow people to have a choice in what they receive, but for safety reasons, um, it's better for us to be to prepackage everything as much as possible. Um, so there's a shelf stable box of food. And then we also have um, perishable items. So there's produce, there's eggs, um, there's frozen or refrigerated products um, to try to help create a more well-rounded um, food source for people. We are just really grateful to the community for all of the support. It has been humbling. Um, we get messages every day. Unfortunately, people can't come into our facility and our volunteers can't come anymore. Um, but just a tremendous amount of support for the staff, uh, for the National Guard, you know, for everybody who's doing this work has meant a lot to us. Um, you know, we're just grateful to be able to be here for our community living.